Good evening. I'd like to call the Monday, October 1st, uh, regularly scheduled uh, select board meeting to order. For, um, to my left is uh, Pete Kelly, Wayne Lamerton. To my right is Jeremy Hansen, Angelina Caffron, and with us also is Dana Hadley and our town, uh, town treasurer, Diane Isabel. And additions or changes to the agenda, Dana? I have no changes. Public comment. Hearing none, Treasurer's report, Diane? Yep. Okay, we have, if you look at the trial balance, we have a savings account for 6388.37. And it, that, that money also sits in a sub account. Well, long time ago, we didn't have a sweep account for our a checking account. So the, the, uh, the Treasurer would use the savings account and just move money, you know, so she'd get more interest. Well, that doesn't, just isn't the same, you know, just doesn't really work to me, I don't think. Uh, you know, we're not getting enough money out of it. So what I'd like to do, what I'm going to do, because it's not reserve money or anything, it's money, not money was voted on. I'm going to move that money out of the sub account, just put into the general fund, because I'm still making interest in the general fund. So I wanted to make you aware, next time you look at the trial balance, for the October trial balance, it'll just be moved in the general fund. Because I'm just okay. trying to consolidate these accounts and get fewer accounts, especially those that are not really doing anything for us. Diane, what does the sweep account do? It, every night at every the night end of sweeps. business, yep. once we have all our our deposits, less mm -hmm. all our checks. Yep. The bank maintains a balance of X amount in our checking yeah. account. Yeah, 100,000. 100,000. Yep. And the remainder That's of that goes cost. into a sweep account, yeah, which like is a repurchase that. agreement. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. And we got, what, $50 worth of interest last month or something like that? Yeah, we have a lot of money in there. So, uh, you know, for six thousand, well, six thousand three eighty-eight in the sub account, you're looking at maybe a dollar's worth of interest a year. Oh, well, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm just, and like I said, but I think what to you're trying to do is kind of try to streamline the the accounting a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I want the reserves to match uh, those sub accounts. Yeah. And that since that's not a reserve, it really doesn't belong in the sub account. And it's not something the auditors have said anything about oh, that, gosh, they, no. that they care about, but I, I imagine it simplifies things it for will. you quite a lot. Yes, yeah. it will. Yeah. Quite a lot. Okay, uh, and then the auditors, speaking of them, are coming in tomorrow and Wednesday. And otherwise, not, if anything else I've got is in the agenda. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I guess a discussion regarding the change of meeting day for the select board? We had um, started that a couple weeks ago. Angelina wasn't here last month, so I mean last meeting, so we didn't continue it. Um, and I guess I just wanted you to finalize the discussion on it, whether you were changing the day or not changing the day. We had talked about Thursday, changing it to a Thursday. Um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, the room is usually busy between planning commission and DRB. You know, on Thursday it's not. And Thursday it's not. Okay. Yeah. And I had a chance to look back over my schedule, and th Thursday actually works quite a bit better for me, at least this semester, because I have classes right at 8 a.m. on Tuesday mornings. So mm -hmm. when these meetings go late, that means I'm sure showing up, yeah. showing up there with, uh, without as much time in the evening. Yeah. So still the first and third. Thursday. Well, that's what I was thinking, but of course. Yeah. Work for me. Let me check my schedule. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess it, it doesn't matter to me. All right. Um, Thanks. If, if, if so, I'd like to just start that in November. Yeah. And because I'm trying to schedule a public hearing for the next meeting, so. If we could do that, that would be great. And that would give me a chance to make, announce it and post it. And so we should probably formally move move that. Yes, you so should, please. I'm going to move that, that we schedule our regularly schedule, our regular schedule for Berlin Select Board meetings to the first and third Thursdays of every month, starting at 7 p.m. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. We'll need to change it on the website, right? We will, yeah. we will change it on the website. And I'll make notes. And I'm going to miss your first meeting now that I think of it. Oh. Um, <laughs> so that worked out. Yeah. Um, but I'll figure that out. Okay. 
This one, Dave, in the belt. I want to make sure he doesn't mess it. Show up at a few building. Nobody be here. Well, Dave hasn't been here lately. I, I felt kind of hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I just thought it was something I said. So. All right, so we'll but, begin that in November. Meetings. Give us that courtesy call for the first month. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, review of bridge and road reserve accounts? Yes, okay, I'd like to begin yeah. with that. Um, I guess that I'll begin with the bridge, okay? And I've, I've given you like cover, a cover sheet. I have gone and looked in the minutes, okay, I, since 1988 on, and I looked at every single one of them to try to find what was happening or why they created this. So they had what they called a bridge transfer account. That started in 1988, and the reason they did it is they said it was recommended by the auditor. Take money left over from FIDIC account, plus monies from Partridge Bridge, and just start having this bridge account. So uh, through the years, they have you know, moved money in and out of the bridge account. They've used it for bridges. And then it became dormant in 2005, and, or even before that time, actually. But in 2005, uh, the treasurer had moved it, and then she moved it back into this, to this account. So this, the, trans, the bridge called the bridge transfer account, that is uh, in another um, fund balance. It's a fund balance all by itself. Now we also have what we call bridge maintenance, and the bridge maintenance go back, goes back to 2010. And that one in the minutes was started because, and this is a reserve. Okay, so we've got one that's a reserve and one that's a fund balance. And the one that is the reserve, it says reserve the funds in the bridge maintenance fund to build up reserves for work to be completed on the Glynis Road Bridge. And the work has been done since that time, but there's still money that remains in there. So in the fund balance, it has its own separate fund balance, the amount there is 19,398.46. In the bridge maintenance account, which is in the reserve account, that's 34,798.68. So we've got, just add the two together here. 53,000. 53,000, yeah. basically, yeah. Uh, for bridge maintenance. Do so are you saying you want to put it in one fund? I do want to move the fund balance account into the reserve, so at least we have it in one place, because it's both for the same purpose. Yeah. So the $9,300 debit in 2012 was for bridge maintenance? Yeah. Yes. And that, that one, I think there was um, a grant on that as well. Mm -hmm. So if we move it all into the fund balance, can we use it for our portion of the COVID? The COVID? Mm, so. No. It's a, it's, That's a bridge. It's a bridge. bridge. This one is bridge. Yeah. But it was voted on by the select board. This is not um, money well, that the taxpayers voted on directly. So as a select board, so then in that case, yes. the select board could repurpose it. That's my understanding. Yeah, OK. I was wrong. I, that would be my understanding. Yeah. But I think that would verify that with the attorney first. Mm -hmm. I, w I would, yeah. but I think it sounds like you could. I can certainly move it, I think, into the one reserve account. I think it makes sense. I mean, what we're trying to do is stop having all these yeah. funds for the mm -hmm. same thing. Um, In this way, you would also see it. Because when you're looking at the trial balance, I know you're looking at the general fund part of it. You don't usually go further into the trial balance and see what the different accounts are. Uh, you know, and anything in these right. funds goes before the board before they get used anyway right yeah. right it has to be approved then. yeah yeah what is our portion of the mirror lake culvert our portion is thirty three thousand dollars so i just i want to make you aware that i'm going to be moving it you know into yeah. the reserve but also to make you aware to keep that in the back of your mind that that is money that's available at this point for bridges okay okay then the second one that i have that i'm going to discuss today is what they call capital road project and that one also has its own separate fund. And there's 29,561.70 in that one. That one was established in January of 1999. And it was, um, there was discussion regarding trying to budget for a plan to improve the gravel roads rather than just maintain them. So that was what the purpose was. Like I said, that was in the minutes from 1999. And there has been money going in and out of that since 1999. but. I don't know when the last time, let me put it this way, it was before 2005, mm. the last time it was used mm. in 2005. It hasn't been used since I then. was hoping to use those funds as the money that we need to make up the remainder of the traffic light project. Um, we needed, I think, $23,000. Um, this is 29.5. You've got 29.5. Yeah. I mean, 
would it make sense to use the 29.5 and clear that fund out? Mm -hmm. I think the thing is, in my view, funds are great and to save them, but if you just have them to stay in the books. Yeah, since I 1999. Mean, it hasn't been touched in 13 years. I don't think we need it. Yeah. So. Or should at least be used. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, if we use the 29.5 and then we would not hit the operating budget quite as hard. Well, by six thousand dollars. Well, mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we use the Capital Roads Project, Capital Road Project fund balance to of twenty nine five sixty one seventy to pay toward the traffic signal upgrade on Fisher Road and close the account. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. And then I'll move to take the bridge maintenance fund and combine it with the bridge transfer fund and establish one bridge maintenance account and eliminate the other. In the reserves. In the reserves. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed, the motion carries. We have been getting these more organized in the last year yes. and a half. And we've talked to the board about it before. Oh, um, yes, so many that, of them. I still have a few more to go. And I think, and I think some of the bigger ones. You know, I think things happen as you go along, and, and uh, it's good. Well, to, uh, my ideal them. goal is to have the reserves, all the money that's in the reserves has, has a sub account, each one separately. So when the audit comes around, it will be a lot faster because a lot of time is spent on the Explaining reserves. Explaining where the money is. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, going through it. Yep. This way, I think everything would be mirrored and it would all be right there in front of you. Is there any pending or imminently necessary bridge maintenance or repair that's out there mm -hmm. right now that you're aware of? I'm not aware of any. So we know there's a small bridge down by us. The, one of the guardrail posts had been hit, and the only thing that's standing there is four rebar. Well, there's a bridge on three miles. <laughs> yeah, so maybe, maybe but, have Tim. But that's the type of thing like, we could use that for, and I will mention that to Tim. Um, we do have, I think we need to pave Lover's Lane Bridge. Um, Tim was concerned that there was a hole forming in there, but it's just a tar that's bunched up. So maybe I'll also ask Tim if, if it's necessary to do any, any uh, washing or painting. I, I, I'm not sure what's necessary with the bridges that we... They have over. done um, some bridge washing mm -hmm. uh, in the last year anyway. I'm not sure how probably they should do it every year, but uh, I'll speak to him about it. So back to using it for culverts. We can we can consider a large culvert a bridge if we so choose. I don't know. Have to look up the definition. You know, and I got it. Hold on. I think that we had just talked about we could even change the purpose of that one. I mean, I would check that with with Rob, mm -hmm. um, but I think we could change the. You I'm know, not necessarily, I'm not necessarily advocating that we take the money out of that fund towards Mirror Lake, but I'm thinking about we have others. We have to. Richardson that is mm -hmm. going to need that we didn't yeah. get a grant on that's, that's going to awesome. need to be addressed. So, third definition of Merriam Webster is a bridge over a culvert for culvert. So, see, it works for us, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So, but, but but you also said that that was designated by the select board, not by the voters. Correct. So it could take an act of the select board to call it a bridge or a culvert fund as well. Yeah, right, right, and we right. could just say, you know, this was put here for that exact circumstance. You know, maybe there was originally envisioned for um, for the bridge over in Glynis Road, you yeah. said. But I mean, I but think that had been repaired. Or I don't believe you're <laughs> going to have anyone who's going to object to using. And not money for the, the and budget. Raising the budget. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, is there a culvert fund? No. Or any any ma culvert maintenance? No. No, not that I know of. Okay. No. Not that I'm aware. Apparently, there is now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so, bridge and culvert. So after all of that <coughs> motion that I made and that we approved, uh, I would move that we change the bridge maintenance fund to the bridge and culvert maintenance fund. Second. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Uh, is that it? Yes. Um, <laughs> That's, we weren't going to hit you with all of them in one night. <laughs> oh, 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 There's more to come. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank, okay. you, uh, yeah. thank you, Diane. Thank you, Thank uh, you. Appointment of Ted Long as alternate member to the Public Works Board. You met with Mr. Long at your last meeting. Um, he has expressed an interest to be an alternate on the Public Works Board. I think he went to the last meeting. He did. Um, and... Tom has submitted to me an email asking that he be appointed as an alternate position to the Public Works Board. Move to appoint Ted Long as an alternate to the Public Works Board. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. And Ted's name is really Edward, just for the mere ratification. And next is appointment of Molly McMurtry. Polly, an, oh, Polly McMurtry. Oh, yeah. Polly McMurtry yeah. as alternate to the DRB. And you met with Mrs. McMurtry um, mm -hmm. at the last meeting. I think she's very knowledgeable. She was very familiar with the Planning Commission in Faston um, and would very much like to serve in a committee. And I think this is a good spot for her. I need to appoint Polly McMurtry to be an alternate on the DRB. Any further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> and uh, anyone opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. Okay, police door proposal received, I received um, one door proposal, and I've been hoping to get more. I did have four um, vendors look at it. But the reason I wanted to bring it to your attention was it was a lot more than what I had thought it was going to be. Um, for the two doors, it's about $11,000 from this, from this quote. Um, so I wanted you to be aware of that. I am hoping, I have called the other vendors, and I hope to have some more ben, um, quotes for this meeting, but it didn't happen. Um, it is something that has to be done, but it's a lot more than what I thought, and I guess it's the, the style of the door, the steel door and the frame. And what were we originally thinking the price was going to be? Well, I think we had thought that it was going to be less than $5,000, which according to our policy, we could have used three quotes. I mean, the board can do what, whatever it decides to do, but normally over $5,000, um, we would have bids. Um, I put it out for bid, didn't get any. Um, when I was more informal, I did get more interest. Well, I think we, we did our due diligence. And we we I, tried. But you know. we also, we can wait a few weeks and see if we can get some better pricing. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't, yeah, I'm not asking you to do it now, but I thought it was, I was very surprised at how much it I'm was. I'm very surprised right. how much it was. Yeah, I mean, I, if you are, then yeah. Yeah. then I guess I am. Can I submit a bid? <laughs> <laughs> if it's less than $5,000 yeah. at this point. Mm -hmm. um, wanna, well, it's better than the door that's there right now. Exactly. Uh, okay. Um, so anything else? So you want to take and see about? I'm, I'm just. I'm, I gave that to you for your information, yeah. and I will see what else I can get for pricing, and I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, private road road naming Thelma's way. Sandy, oh, this yes, is you. Right Come on up. Uh, yeah. I'll, leave there. Okay. Okay. I'll go get Steve White. Okay. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Sure, come on up. All right, come on up. Um, this is a private road that is off of Bartlett Road. Um, it is property that was developed um, by Sandra, and they have asked that the road have a name. It's still going to remain a private road, but the board needs to bless the name. Tom has. Um, 
gone with Vermont E911, and there are no issues with that. He's also had, we have a letter from Ray Washburn from Du Bois Construction um, saying that the Thelma's way meets or exceeds the town standard. What we didn't know, we didn't know where the name Thelma's way came from. That's from me. Uh -huh. uh, it was the name of my great aunt, um, who was the matriarch of our family here in Vermont, and um, she actually owned 80 plus acres in Williston, and uh, it's where my love for nature came from and um, why I wanted to name it that. Okay, super. Hey, what's her last name? Uh, Robert. Robert. So they're asking that uh, the, the name Thelma's Way um, be accepted by the board. Move to name the road in question Thelma's Way. Second. Any further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thelma's Way. Mm -hmm. okay. We will need a street sign um, so we can order that, mm -hmm. but we're going to bill you for it. Okay. Um, so we just need to know who to send the bill to. Okay. Um, um, and just, just divide in thirds. Yeah. Um, How about if yeah. I just send it to Sandy? Because I know I know where oh, to send okay. it. Except that I'm no longer a landowner. All right. Where yeah. would you? All right. You can send it to. Let me just have you write me. your information okay. for me, would you? Okay. And you, you know what you should do is just write in capital letters exactly what. I don't know. My father wanted Toad Road for Toad Road. Private road. I like up it. In yeah. Berlin, off Bartlett. Yeah. And it came in T O W E D. <laughs> uh -oh. I think it's still in our garage. Really? <laughs> they didn't spell road R O W E D, did they? That, that would have been <laughs> even <really> better. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I wish you were here to make that joke. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best joke I've heard all day. What else do you need us to do now that it's been named? Is there someone that you're waiting to have? Someone's waiting to hear about this road, or? Um, yes. So uh, the boundary line adjustment. Yeah. So, so Tom probably Tom. knows that. Okay. Yeah. All right. He'll know um, tomorrow morning that it was accepted. So. Okay. And is that all we need? Yeah. Need. Yeah. Okay. He, he and then he's got a chain of events because he's trying to get his septic. Okay. All right. He's actually All right. All right, digging Susan, everything thanks. but the septic. <laughs> the driveway is going in, and he's like Exciting. trying to get yeah. it over for Christmas. Stephen and I went to grade school together. You did? Yeah, I'm, we're Junction Road people. Oh, well, we're not going to hold that against you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> nice. So if you have good. any questions for the board or? I, I think we're good, right? Is there anything else we need to? over all right thank you very much thanks for coming in thanks for approval of select board minutes from september the 6th 2018 and september the 17th 2018. the september 6 minutes um i had changed the fact that select board member kelly was absent and i sent you the wrong ones in the packet i think but I have fixed that. I was wondering. Uh, I just did it for to make sure you were looking. Just to get the, yeah. Move to approve the September 6, 2018 minutes. Is that move to change? Exactly. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? One abstention? Motion carries, and a motion on the September 17th. Move to approve the September 17th minutes. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Abstaining. Um, okay. Uh, motion carries. 
One abstention. Two abstentions. Two abstentions. And I'm abstaining you for you. Thank you. And uh, let's see here. Town administrators reporting. <clears throat> Yes, um, I have a few things. Um, first of all, I'd like to let you know that they are starting to work on the traffic lights. Um, Tim will be over there this week to dig a new trench for the new electrical service that's going in. Um, the cameras will be in place before the paving begins. Um, and the electrical box, they're working on it, so it should be done hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, for the work we're going to do this year. Um, we have, Tim has been asked more than once, and I'm just putting this out for the board to think about. As you know, driveway culverts is the responsibility of the person whose driveway it is. And I would maintain that a person would still be responsible to buy a culvert. Um, in some cases, I'm wondering if it might make sense for Tim and the highway crew to install the culvert. And maybe I should have Tim talk to you a little more, but they have had some issues with culverts. Um, this came from someone who asked, because they didn't have resources, if he could install the culvert. And I said, no, we can't, because it's, yeah. we don't. But Would there be a fee for that, that would be paid to the town? Or that be I hadn't thought about that, but it certainly is a possibility. And people that maybe don't have resources, maybe they could pay in over time mm -hmm. or something like that. But I think it's in the town's best interest to have it done done correctly. They would be able to oversee it instead of... Is this culvert failed? Is this a replacement or is this... Yes. A... The one I'm talking about is, yes. is, uh, needs to be replaced. Okay, like a, a, a modest budget right. item just to sort of meet them part way something i mean in, in the case of you know where it's failing and it's gonna it will affect the road, road and that's right. you know then I, I think we have to be you know be on top of it before it becomes a, a major problem so if you're amenable to that maybe i'll write a policy and think about it some more mm -hmm. um we received a thank you note from for supporting the um, what do they call it now the the community with the the gleaning of the of crops Allison Levin um, and she's got a better name than what I gave it but I thought that was nice that she sent a, a letter um, the underground storage tank at the um, garage um, we have decided to discontinue that. We are going to use an above ground tank in a, in a cement containment and um, continue to buy the fuel from Gillespie. Um, and that again will probably cost, what, to close out the old tank, we'll probably be looking at three to $4,000 when we're done. The um, issue over at the pond with the gentleman who was sleeping in his truck. We talked about that a little bit last time. Um, Sergeant Bassett really addressed that, and I think that that issue has been resolved. No. Still? He's there, there. This, he's there this morning. Okay. A couple hours ago. Okay, well then I will speak to Sergeant Bassett. So, I'll just, um, depending on his status, if he has any mental illness or um, and is frequently home homeless. There is a organization in Barrie called um, Pathways Vermont, mm -hmm. and they will help him get an apartment. Okay. They will find him housing. Okay. So, um, Sergeant Bissett is pretty knowledgeable on uh, those okay. things, but I appreciate that, and yeah. I will mention it, mm -hmm. mention yes. it to him if that's an issue. Um, yep. So. Because he will want to know that. Thank you. You're welcome. The fire department is having a memorial dedication and recognition recognition service on October 20th, Saturday, um, in honor of fallen and founding members of the fire fire department. So they've been they've asked if the select board would attend, 
they're going to have a, a luncheon immediately following the service. And if you can go, I would be glad to RSVP for you to Carol the Cats. What was the date again? The 20th. It's a Saturday. And what, what time is that? Is it? It's at 11 a.m. Okay. Last week, I attended the psychiatric inpatient planning stakeholders meeting at the hospital, um, which is the hospital has $21 million, or I should say UVM plus the hospital has $21 million, and they're looking to establish more psychiatric beds here at um, Central Vermont. And they expect that this stakeholders group will take 18 months for them to come out with some plans. So the first meeting that I went to last week when I was completely out of my element and they were talking about how many beds if they added would solve waiting times. Basically they're talking about waiting times, people who are waiting to get into a psychiatric bed. So that project is, is on the way and I'll try and bring whatever I can, but it's not my this this right up here area. The hospital, yeah. Um, the new psychiatric ward? No. Um, not no. the not the, the state the psychiatric oh. hospital. Oh. This is the medical the, center. The this medical center. Addition. Oh, okay. Because a, a lot of folks that don't have beds in other facilities first go they go to the emergency room. Right. And there's right. no and, place. And they and they sit there. There's and they end up waiting in the emergency room right. for many hours. Right. So um, this one has filled up. I, I just heard stories over the you know, so the state, I'm not sure. I think the state, you get admitted to the state under a different type of, this is more of an emergency. Okay. This is more of an emergency. Yeah, there was a, there was a colleague of mine whose, whose child spent five days. Real. Hmm. And really that's been bed. common throughout the state because they, they've done studies. So they, they did a lot of work on coming out with wait times and if they added so many beds, how, how that would affect. So naturally, I'm very, I'm very interested in how it will affect the town, right. um, if, if it does. Bill Wolf is also on that um, uh, committee. And Brad is welcome to come at any time. Yeah. So I just thought I'd give you that. Yeah. Um, I wanted to just mention, uh, as Wayne knows, Tom has been working on a program to capture the cost of fire protection for the water division. Yeah. Um, he is <coughs> discussing, I guess it's water protection for residential customers who do not have, are not connected onto the water system. Because basically if you're connected on the water system, you're paying um, toward the bond. Um, he's done some calculation and it's somewhere in the vicinity of $1,100 mm -hmm. that they could capture. Um, I don't think he's come to any conclusions yet, um, but he is proposing a policy. Um, I believe it's this board that would have to really approve it. And some, there are communities that do contribute to the water division for fire protection. Um, and I don't know the the issue that has been brought up has been that at when the water division was first discussed um, people were assured that, that if they did not take part in being a water customer that they would not have um, an obligation to pay on this um, if if the town paid the eleven $1 hundred dollars which has been one they would be participating um, and, and we're talking about very small amounts, and, and it's not the dollars that I'm really talking about, but I'm just talking about the principle of the thing. 11,000, I thought, right? So. 11,000. 1,100. 1140 is what the figure he gave. For the residents. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and I believe the business ones, they were already on the water, so that was why he didn't so, give me that. So, so but I know that you know a little bit right. more, so. So you can the help big me discussion out. here is. You could have a 100,000 square foot building and not tie into the municipal water, but have a hydrant in your yard and save on fire insurance because now you have public water. 
available. Available. The second discussion is you could have one bathroom in a 100,000 square foot building and sprinkle your building with the municipal water and pay $100 a quarter for Cause, water. Because the fire's free. Because the fire's free. But you did choose to hook up. Correct. So it's interesting because when you do some research in different municipalities in the state, some municipalities have a fire protection charge and a water charge, domestic water charge. Um, and as a user of this municipal water, the fire protection is more important than the water. potable water. So I understand that, and I understand why he's, we could have built a six inch water main around town if nobody tied in the sprinkler system to it. But we had to build a 10 inch so that they could, but there are folks that aren't using municipal water but are getting the fire protection. So, hence the discussion. Mm. <laughs> is this policy something the Public Works Board wants us to approve? The Public Works Board is still discussing. I don't think policy. you've made a decision right. yet. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're just a heads up. Yeah. 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 I, I honestly don't know how I feel about it. I think that the fire protection is a very important element of the public water system mm. and that, that I wouldn't be opposed to pay for the ability to sprinkle my building. Mm. Yeah. But probably not all people will agree with that. Well, I, and I think there's a big difference between the fact there's a fire hydrant in your yard that you didn't put there or near your yard or that you have hooked up, use a minimal amount, but have maximum fire production at your disposal. Those are really two different things. But remember, you we don't meter fire protection. Right, but you have it. But you have it. You have it, <laughs> and you didn't before. So it isn't like we can, if there's a fire, we can say, hang on a minute, are you are you on the list? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, more an, it's more of an insurance thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. So I knew the board hadn't, your board had not voted for that yet, but I thought it was fair that I brought it right. up. Right, no, we're still yeah. Just yeah. discussing it, and right. everyone has a different opinion, and I don't know of where course. we're going to end up on it. Yeah. And I, you see, and the circumstances vary from person, not person to person, but there's probably two or three different start circumstances where you feel one way, and... Um, I think, personally, that the, the residence is the $1,100 we're talking about. They didn't sign up for this. So they right. didn't ask for a hydrant in the driveway. It, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. But the commercial buildings that can use the water for their sprinkler and fire protection is a different Another story. story. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. <coughs> and they've hooked up. Because you can't sprinkle your building if you're not hooked up. So it's a little, little different. Yeah. Okay. So that's what. Um, the you've had two meetings i think it's been with the berrytown thunder chicken snowmobile club and they're asking the board to draft an ordinance allowing travel on shed road crosstown road black road and brookfield road um at your at two weeks ago no i mean two the meeting before the last meeting um I believe the gentleman was here, and you discussed having a public hearing at that time to get input from residents or citizens um, on that request. Um, and so I was, I have drafted a letter to everyone on those roads, and I haven't sent it out yet, waiting to, for this meeting. Um, and just to check with you if you wanted me to set up a public hearing in two weeks on the 15th of October. Now that's <coughs> on the, this is for your, uh, for the four wheelers to go up and down the roads. Right. I believe that I'm on understanding it was snowmobiles and four, and four wheelers. Yeah. Um, what do they call those? ATVs. 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 Yeah. ATVs. And the requests were separate. He was clear about that. Right. Yeah, so they could so I'm not out. sure if it's both or maybe they would consider one. Um, yeah. So it's sort of obvious for snowmobiles, but does this mean ATVs year-round? I doubt it because they can't ride on, uh, they're not allowed on snowmobile trails, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're not allowed on snowmobile trails. 
So they would only be in the summer or yeah. when there's no snow. Yeah. So ATVs when there's no snow, snowmobiles when there is snow, but never the two together. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. But as I said before, I think it's, it's good comment. we've heard from the police chief. Oh, I hear you. I, we've heard from, but we probably need to hear from the public. Because yeah. we're just hearing from from employees right now. We're not hearing from our from our employers. Right. 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 So I'll go ahead and notice the meeting, yeah. and we'll hold it next I think on the fifteenth. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I have no update on the option agreement for the the well sites. I haven't heard any any forward progress on that. And that is all I have. Okay. Uh, Round table, Pete. I am set. Wayne, Jeremy. Uh, I have a couple things. Um, so I was asked to do my duty at, on a jury. This week, I've asked to be let go from it, but uh, this week is the league's meeting. So I was wondering if anybody is going to be available if I need to be doing jury duty while I'm representing the town at the league annual meeting. So, I mean, I can, I, I can let you know tomorrow, but if anybody's available and willing to do that, I'm happy to hand off the reins if I need to. What day is that, man? It's Wednesday. It's in mm -hmm. South Burlington. That starts at about noon, yeah. like noon to three. But you don't know yet. I don't know yet. I was supposed to be, I was supposed to have been told today, mm -hmm. but I still don't know. This is for Burlington, jury duty, public court, uh, uh, federal court? Uh, no, it's uh, in Montpelier. Oh, Rita got called up for the federal court. Oh, in Burlington, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you know, well, I don't say. Yeah. You want to send an email out tomorrow, is that? I should be able to tell you tomorrow what's what. All right. I've got a couple of meetings now for Wednesday. I know I have one in the morning, one in the afternoon. I, I hope they're sympathetic because I'm also closing on my house on Wednesday morning. Oh. <laughs> wow. Which would be. So do you think you could add one more thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If that were to occur, I, I'll need to notify the league to change who is on, who is, has the well, I will vote. let you know as soon as I know. Okay. And I would have to try to change a meeting in the afternoon if I was going to try okay. to attend. So we'll play it by ear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get the bar and let me know. Um, and then um, I happened to um, talk to Diana over in the police department. We t we're talking about police records, and this is something we've floated in the past. They're, the physical space that they have available for their records that they're required to keep, um, they're running out, given, you know, unless we're going to build a new building, which I don't think we are. Mm -hmm. um, we should probably consider, if not building the capacity to put those records in some electronic format, at least think about putting some money away in the next budget, I think, towards that. Um, now that you know, we can have these records electronically and that's okay, um, you know, we do a little bit of that in the clerk's office. We do a little bit of that here. Um, but if you, I don't know if you've ever seen the sort of the shelves that where everything has to be manually filed and refiled when things get moved around and, and uh, expired. It's it, it's pretty it's a pretty bad tight situation over there. We, so, as you remember, purchased a software system for us to start mm -hmm. filing things electronically, mm -hmm. and we're still learning it and learning how best to utilize it. But it's going to be great. I mean, it's really going to save us a lot of space and much easier to. Um, access things. And, and, and I remember you saying that. Is that something that they can use over in the police department or that that's going to be okay um, I don't think they'll potential? be able to use ours because they'll tell me that they don't want to share our server. Of course. Um, but, but they, but, but they yes, could I'm sure that in, you know, I'm sure that they could purchase the, the system and have a server themselves to, that would to be, serve it. I think that would be worthwhile to, to talk about in the next budget cycle. Okay. So can you bring in like a professional person that just said, this is what I'm going to do in six months later? I have no idea mm -hmm. how to do it. Yeah, and, and some, somebody comes in. They use our stuff. They sit down, scan it, and put it in place and work it out. I mean, that's, that's more expensive than, you know, digitizing the stuff, um, you know, as it's going out or um, not, not, yeah, not that Diana really has the time in a, in a 
her right. schedule to do that. But yeah, I, I guess it would boil down to that. I mean, once it's brought up to speed to maintain it or no, keep it current, it's no deal. big deal. But we decided to, um, and we we will go back as we can. But we decided we would start now. Mm -hmm. What happened before, we're not as worried about. And the issue with having someone come and scan it, because I've thought of having like an intern come in and scan it, but we would still need to file it because someone else wouldn't know really Where to, what it was because you have to title it and then you can put keywords that, you know, you have to think about what someone might call it. You might call it this, I'll call it that, you know, but you need something for the system to retrieve it. Hmm. Well, I think in the case of the records that we're talking about back there, I think there's there's Probably a bit standard. more standardization yeah. in the materials that are there. So I mean, there are certain forms, uh, you know, intake and evidence and all these sorts of things sure. that are going to be pretty pretty standard and hopefully hopefully would, would be easier to bring into a system like that. Probably true. Yeah. Because people in 15 years from now need to go back and. You know, if you spelled well, the 15 album. years from now, they're going to come in, they're going to say, oh, who was that guy? Right. Right. Put that in there. <laughs> but I mean, you know, we don't start with Z in the alphabet, right. we start with A, you know, it's worked right. for a while. But even in the short time we've had it, I mean, it is just right. so much more efficient uh -huh. and uh, to find things. So like th thumbing through a binder? Right, exactly. Yeah. That somebody dropped. <laughs> yeah. So uh, one last thing, um, in the place where Tim shored up the, the cemetery over on Rowell Hill Road, yes. um, I, I drove by today and somebody set up a little table with some chairs there, right in that little little flat area. It's kind of a nice, just kind of a funny hmm. anecdote. I don't know if Tim's been, Tim's been over there, but the space is being used. Apparently people are... They set up a chairs and a table? Yeah, just a little... You mean like a little picnic area? Yep. <laughs> Okay. That was, okay. That was fun. <laughs> That's all I got. We're over there. Lunch. Angelina. <laughs> Round table. Um, I don't know what this check is for. What's it? Yeah, did, yeah, did we ever get to the license permit? No, you haven't done that yet. Oh, we haven't. Okay, well. Okay. Anything for round table? No. Okay. <laughs> um, Approval of licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. Everybody seen the mm -hmm. paperwork? May I see that? And I'll be able to see if I can tell you what it is. Sure. It is postage. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. lo but lo look at the number, the amount on the check, and look at the amount on the bill. Right. But this is to have money in our bank at the postage. So okay. that they so can fill the postage. So, yes. so, it's, so it's paying in advance of us. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. With the yeah. stamper. Yeah. yeah. Right. Good to know. So I move that we approve general fund accounts payable warrant number 19G07 with checks 18492 through 18528 in the amount of $169,726.13. Also, payroll warrant number 19-07 for payroll from September 16th, 2018 through September 29th, 2018 in the amount of $42,002.50. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Anything for executive session tonight, Dana? No, I have nothing. Move to adjourn. Second.